G'day and thanks for joining me, I'm Faintly Saintly, and today we're looking at the demo for Handmancers. This is an upcoming roguelike deck builder, and, and it's got a uh, obvious theme of rock, paper, scissors, as you'll see here. Upcoming features, again this is the demo, the full version is coming soon, I don't think there is a set release date yet. But there will be three extra unique playable characters, more specializations, more progression, more bosses, more enemies, and so on. So, let's check this demo out. Welcome, Handmancer. Thank you for playing the demo. The game is still in active development. Some features will be changed and added. Let us know what you think. Suggestions and feedback are always welcome. This demo allows you to begin your journey against corruption, playing up to depth 11 of the core adventure and fighting against the first two bosses. Sounds good to me. Cress, sharp one. Cress prowls with the grace of a sleek predator. Her movements are a symphony of silent, deadly elegance. Base damage. Three from blades, one from stone, one from parchment. You start with the bracelet of fury. For every three missing HP, plus one base damage. Now you call it a bracelet when that is obviously grilled. Okay, we can check out the deck here. You've got a few pairs of scissors. You've got... Oh, deal one damage two times. You've got a Crimson Feast. Deal three damage, inflict plus two bleeding. Bleeding takes X pure damage at the beginning of the turn, reduced by one. We have a defensive strike, which gives me shield, and a piece of paper that does nothing. Excellent. Okay, so this is our starting hero, Cress. We can unlock Arturo. Become a member of the Discord through this button to be unlock Arturo. How do they know? Interesting. And then the paper hero is coming soon, so obviously not in the demo. And then we have a mysterious fourth character. All right. Well, let's get into it. I just want to say, first of all, I don't know what the gameplay is like yet, but I love the presentation. Everything looks great. Like any other good adventure, your journey starts here on your map. Select the next node by clicking it. Okay, there's our deck, our health, base damages, artifacts, and depth. What have we got here, then? A... Slimy. Look out. Every card in your deck represents a spell you can cast. Spells always have a type. Play your cards reacting to the enemy attacks by dragging them on the empty slot. Spell types determine the outcome of the resolution. Win is deal full damage. Parry is negate all damage. Loss is suffer full enemy attack damage. Lower the enemy health to zero to defeat them. Uh, your deck, your discard pile. Is that his move? He's going to throw a rock at me? Is that what I'm seeing? So if I... If I... Play... Oh, okay. Even though the paper has no effect, paper beats rock. So I'll consider that a parry, I guess, according to the tutorial. Oh no, I can't play more than one card, obviously. What's that gem? This one's got a green gem in it. And we've got a blue gem. That has no gem. Oh, that's got a flurry of blows gem. Okay, this one doesn't have that. Anyway, let's test this theory. Oh, I won. Okay, now it's going in with a scissors. Get out of here. What are these numbers? Anyway. Sprinting and cramping. Fighting is a tiring business, even for a handmancer. As combat goes on, you will have less and less spells to cast. Don't worry. At any point during combat, you can sprint. 
printing makes you draw a full hand of cards from your deck, but be careful. All cards already positioned will be locked and cannot be reorganized. Sprinting also adds a cramp spell to your hand, a card that can never win. Learning how to effectively utilize the cramp card is a secret that all hand mancers yearn to learn. What is going on? Okay, he's using paper, so I'm going to use my Flurry of Blows scissors. Slimy defeated. I love this first person perspective. Combat rewards. Defeating your enemies strengthens you after every battle. To become a powerful hand mancer, you must learn what strength is. Learn that strength is no good if not efficiently welded. Wielded. Bloody hell, I can't read. You are given three loot points and a choice of eight random reward. Don't like them? Reroll. Okay, we can use powerful artifacts. You might even come across cursed artifacts. They exchange a negative effect for a bonus loot point. Okay, hand mancers can empower their spells by applying unique effects to their own cards. This is the art of card crafting. Ah, oh, that must be what that gem thing was. You can begin by selecting a gem as a reward. Drag it onto the card and release to complete the process. Shiny. Okay, let's re-roll. Pick your loot. Every time you, every three times you do damage, heal one HP. You can't grant shield. What? Every three times, times, you play blades, inflict plus three bleed. Every time you draw cards, grant one defense. Quick draw. Oh, okay. That's a gem I can put into a card, I believe. Double blade. Deal two damage to self. Deal five damage. Grant a random buff. Reduce all debuffs by one. Uh, I want to buy that Ring of the Leech. Hmm. Reduce all debuffs sounds pretty good. Maybe. What I'm going to use Cleanse on though. Oh, okay, so shield isn't innate to these cards. Shield was an add-on. With this defensive strike. Reduce all debuffs. Well, it seems to be the trend that the rock cards are our defensive sort of players. So let's just chuck it there. Beautiful. Let's go. Every three missing HP, one day base damage, and every three times I deal damage, heal one. Zip Tribe Goblin. He is sharp, apparently. Oh, look at the poor slimy. He's playing rock, paper, scissors with someone else's hand. Oh, and he's got two hands. Well, that makes sense, I guess. Enemies are growing stronger too. As you progress throughout your adventure, you'll see enemies with multiple attacks per turn and powerful innate abilities. Make sure to check them carefully, carefully and learn what they do before fighting. Every win inflicts plus one bleed. Well, buddy, you ain't winning. So don't worry about it. Except I have no paper, so you're probably going to win. <laughs> Let's just be clear about that. Um, rock beat scissors and rock parries rock. In theory. Yes. Good. You have a paper. I think I have to use that. And we'll parry again. That's a good win. And a nice parry. Now, what do we do? We need to basically win that and then sp sprint. Creates a cramp in hand, but draws four cards. This card can't win. It's okay. Right, I understand now. So... 
I thought these paper cards were useless because it didn't have effects, but it turns out the only cards that had effects were ones that had these little gems in them. So really the base game is just paper, scissors, rock with modifiers. I understand. Good old rock, nothing beats that. Okay. So can I sprint again? That's nice. Bam. Roasted. Meta magic. Draw cards until your hand is full. Um What is that? Does it go in a card or is that yeah, must must do. Ring of Terror, negative five max HP. Sounds counterintuitive. Every time you discard cards, deal two damage. Every time, every two times you deal damage to an enemy with bleed, deal one damage. Every three actions inflict one weakness. Yeah, that could be nice. Uh, I guess I'll grab that and put that. Uh, one of the papers. Oh, I see. There are some that can only go on each of the types of cards. Does that make sense? Draw cards until your hand is full. That sounds pretty good to me. Because that might avoid a sprint. Calm down. Okay. Combo starter. Deal 5 damage if this card has 3 gems. Deal two damage to self. No, thank you. Deal one damage, inflict one bleed. Uh, who can take this one? Anyone? Do I just super buff this one, or do I spread the love? I think I spread the love. So all my cards have something going for them. Good stuff. Boss selection. The end of your journey has been decided for you. How you get there, though, that's in your hands. The path you pick will influence the enemies you'll face on, you'll find on your travels. Plan your route ahead and keep exploring. Choose your destiny. Well, you give me plenty of options here. Uh, I think I'll choose this one. That is somebody with a pot on their head giving themselves a massive wedgie. Warlord, the cacophony of screeching metal armor and weapons announces his approach. His metallic breath echoes within his helmet, a stark prelude to a battle. He has enraged blades, parchment enraged, stone enraged, he's just an angry boy. Considers all parries with blades, stone, and parchment as wins. That just sounds unfair. Oh well. I don't want to get weird about it, but has anyone seen how this paper thing is looking at me? I mean, it needs to chill. I do like that they actually change their artwork, depending on their uh, modifiers or their gems. It's pretty cool. All right. Reroll or duplicate one of your artifacts. That's interesting. Or Biggie. Which leads to Temple of Trinity. Swap one of your cards types and gain power. Duplicate one of your gems. Hmm. Might as well go for the combat. Oh, it's mustache slimy. Every win inflicts plus two weak. Reduces all damage taken by 10%. Well, screw you, buddy. Oh, he's got uh, three. Uh-oh. Oh, no, I can parry. That's okay. Um, does the card have to win to apply its effect? Do we know? Let's find out. Actually, no, we won't find out. I don't want to risk it. Um, I'm going to put the meta magic in play.
Okay, thank you. So he's weak, which is nice. I'm gonna go chuck a little rock boy there. We're going to cut the crap out of that paper. What are these numbers? Does that mean it's gonna beat me? Hmm. He doesn't uh, take very much damage, does he? Oh, we had a 10% reduction, but it feels like I'm just chipping away at him here. We will need to sprint. But I'll lock those in first. And we can get this fella back in here. Done. See, I'm parrying a lot. So that boss that treats parries as wins for himself. That's going to make things a little bit tricky. Uh, prevents damage. Reduce debuffs. I don't think I have any debuffs, do I? Let's just do that. And... Wait on. What am I doing? Okie dokie, we need to sprint again. Paper can go there, rock can go there. This is getting close. I am going to have to lose a hand, I think. locked now, right. I can win and lose or I can parry and parry. That will do. But I have nothing now, so let's see what we've got. Paper. Alright, let's use up some of these what are they called? Cramps. Okay. Um, that's not good. I don't know if it's better to sprint at the end of your turn or the start of the next one. I suppose that I can sprint twice next turn. Well, as in, twice in a row. Oh, that was a nasty hit. So that's the damage it deals, obviously. Okay. Uh, do that, do that. Now sprint. Now paper there. Now sprint. Oh dear. I may have just stuffed myself because I can only carry five cars, right? So I suppose I've put them on the ones that'll do the least damage. Pray for a parry. Ah, okay. That'll do, I guess. Just need to finish him off. It's going to be difficult with no cards. Definitely put one there and there, I suppose. Oh. Oh, what is this? I'm punching holes in the ground. Can I punch this guy? No. Ugh. That's an ugly... Ugly hand here. It's catching up to me very quickly, which is concerning. I don't know how to handle these cramps. Alright, I'm just going to do that and that and then sprint now. That's a win. Okay, 
now, I sort of understand. Okay. Alright. Have to do that. I'm gonna do that. Let's sprint. Grab some paper, put you there. That should get it done. Bam. Got him. Goo old chug. Recover 10 HP. Okay, you don't heal between combats. Grant 2 and power to the enemy. Ring of the Dark Soul. What? It's a fish. <laughs> I don't understand. Ring of the Healing Draw. Every time we draw a heal. I think I need that. And I think I'll take that. Then. Inflict bleeding, but also grant healing. Does that just cancel each other out? Quick draw. Quick draw. Let's do it. Quick draw can go any card. Bam. Beautiful. Temple of Trinity, swap one of your cards type and gain power. Your starting deck has been given to you, but that is just the beginning. You can further customize your spells by meditating at the Temple of Trinity. Drag one of your cards from one type to the other in order to change permanently the spell type. Meditating this way boosts that type, increasing its base damage by one. It boosts the receiver or the sender? Either way, I think we can do with a bit of balance. So I might just pop that one there. I like that it's still the angry scissor. <laughs> but now it's in paper form. So, base damage blades, three stone, one plus two parchment, two plus two. Probably should have checked that before I did that so I knew what actually happened. All right, re-roll or duplicate one of your artifacts. It's interesting as well. I love the design of this game. It just looks so good. Hello, fish skeleton. Give me an artifact of thine and declare thy wish. Dreams are powerful, especially if the siren comes and visits you during one. She is a formidable being said to help worthy handmancers on their travels. Give her one of your artifacts and she'll be able to remove it for you from you. Reroll into something different or duplicate it. Where's my starting one? Anyway, I'm going to keep that. I'm going to keep that. Oh, can I duplicate the things? Can, can't I? Every three times you do damage, you heal one HP. So if I duplicate this, every three times I do damage, I get two HP. I feel like survivability is um, important. Hey, we need your help to improve the game. Let us know what you think through the feedback button or click out to join our Discord community. I might just do that. Warlord. Oh, this is that boss. I am not prepared. I feel very unprepared, actually. So he considers all parries as wins, which is just disgusting. Every time you play blades, plus one blades base damage. It's just a I won't, I won't even say what I think he is. So he considers parries as wins. So I might as well just not 
play a losing card or a parrying card. Because if I play them, he'll get enraged and do more damage. So I just need to tank this damage, right? Does that make sense? Let's say I do that and then just end my turn. win three here. Okay. That's good. Got a bit of shield as well. Uh... Sprint. I healed. Oh, because of the Ring of Healing. Okay. Uh, I can get three wins here as well. is concerning but I can do this I'll sprint now I hope his next hand is made of paper I'll tell you that so I don't mind giving up that loss that's fine I'll get that uh, cramp out of my hand oh that's not good so he's going to treat these all as wins if I play these cards. Draw one. That was pointless. <laughs> Absolutely pointless. Uh, Alright, let's see. I know it'll count as a win to him. Uh, I'm just going to see if we do th this three damage and two bleed. He's got one bleed at the moment. Let's find out. Okay. Okay. So you lose that hand, but you still do the effect of the card. Good to know. Three wins there. Okay. We may be sneaking into a win here at this rate. Maybe. Don't mind losing those. We'll sprint. And go. So I'll just put a scissor against a rock. Oh, no, it's a paper now. Okay, never mind. I thought I just absolutely blew it there. Cool. Three wins, thank you. Close. Oh, perfect. It's a paper turn. Get out of here, you clown. Bam. Very cool. Ring of Endless Rivers. Every time you inflict blood, inflict an extra blood or bleed. Every three times you draw, inflict one stun. Turns the next X enemy intentions into cramp. Whoa. That could be good. Reduced by one all enemy buffs. I'm 
Draw three cards, discard one random card. Ah, oh, okay. I think I'll get Purify. I think I'll put that on you. You've been purified. Uh, I've got two left. I can grab... I think Endless Rivers is probably good because I do seem to deal a lot of bleed damage, so... I'm happy with that. Choose your destiny. Are you feeling it now, Mr. Krabs? Oh, it's a frog. The silhouette, I thought... I, I actually thought it was a crab. I take it back. A monstrous chorus of croaks heralds the corrupted king frog. Swollen with dark power, his immense form looms, eyes glowing with malevolence. Once regal, now a grotesque tyrant of the marsh. Do you think you'll be able to end his reign? Every three turns, corruption lashes out. Every 15% of missing HP grants one in power. Grants 10 shield, grants 5 repost. Every two actions grants one courage. Every two actions grants one repost. Every six actions inflicts one stun. Do you think you'll be able to end his reign? I'm going to say no, based on what I've just read. Alright, what have we got here? I can... Duplicate one of my gems, and then eventually duplicate an artifact. Don't think I want to swap any card powers this time. I think I'll take the top path. Okay, drag one of the gems from the reflection of your cards to a new compatible spell. So... I could duplicate the meta magic. Oh. And put that here. So then I have two cards that will let me draw cards without sprinting. Good stuff. Uh oh. Wolf pack, 120 health. Incredibly sharp. Every win inflicts two bleed. Every turn grant three defense. Every three actions grants one's courage. Which is plus 50% damage for the next X actions. These guys are real jerks. What is that? That could be any. Oh, that could be anything. Okay. Uh, I'm going to make you bleed. I'm going to draw until my hand is full. I'm going to smash it with this rock. And I'm going to smack you with these scissors. Bam, 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 bam. bam. Alright. Good. Good. What have you got here? That's bad. Oh, it made me bleed. Okay. Uh, shield. Reduce all debuffs by one. I think I'll just take the shield there. Actually, I'm going to get both. Uh, good. Good. I get to fill my hand again, which is lovely. well I'm actually healing more than I'm taking damage so far which is lovely um, as long as these don't start stacking up against me um, there we go I'll reduce some of his buffs with that I will 
deal one damage, inflict a bleed. Uh, we'll do that. And uh, should I? Yeah, may as well just uh, negate that one. Yep, all right. We'll lock it in. Okay, so I'm at full health now, so I'm better off than when I started. Which is a good thing. The bleed is stacking up now quite a lot, which is nice, thanks to this artifact. Um, we'll pop you there, I'm going to sprint. Going to... Beautiful, draw cards till my hand is full. I'm going to do that, I'm going to do that. I'm going to... Hmm, yeah, I'm going to get rid of you there, I think. Cop the hit, maybe. Interesting mix of cards here. Yep, I'll cop that loss, that's fine. Okay, happy to have those now. Gonna hit you there, going to sprint. Reduce enemy buffs, I don't want to draw just yet. It's interesting that rock, paper, scissors are such a basic, you know, I don't want to say binary, but obviously there's three. The basic game plays into this because it's simple, but it's challenging as hell. Okay, now it's time to draw. So I'll pop you, actually, no, I'm going to pop you there. And I'll pop you there. Can't win. That's okay because this will fill my hand up and I won't have to sprint. Beautiful. And the question is, why is this fella here so silly? What's he doing? Everyone else is serious. They focus on the job and he's just chilling. Alright, uh, quick draw. I think we'll just stack on the damage there, I believe. And we'll draw again, which is good. We'll pop you there. Pop you there. Yeah, so that's turning into a lifesaver. Having these paper cards filling my hand up again. Because the more I can do that, the less I have to sprint. And the less hand cramps I get. So this is actually doing uh, fairly well. <laughs> I thought I was in a lot of trouble, but it seems to be working out so far. But it is still early days. Uh, yep, yeah, fill my hand up again, please. Okay, I'm back to full health. He has 11 bleed. Very good. Alright, this is... Uh, that's not too bad, actually. Hopefully. I can finish the job here. Well, I suppose the bleed should do it if I don't. And there it goes. Time to jump in the air and punch those doggos. And he's out of here. Pick your loot. Every time you draw cards, grant one courage. Every three times you play Parchment, inflict one stun. At the beginning of combat, grant one empower. Every time you inflict weakness, grant one courage. I am inflicting weakness fairly often. Quick draw. Remove one cramp. 
I will take that. And I'll put it on this fella. That could be quite handy. Now, every time you draw cards, grant one. Uh, courage. Gonna grab that. I'm gonna grab this. So I should be, between these two, I should be getting courage fairly regularly. And my damage output should increase. Which will be nice. Now, a living corpse is the next fight. And what have we got here? Oh, it's you again. Inhuman. Every turn steals, uh, heals 5% of total health. Every turn grants 5 shield. Every 3 turns gains 1 empower. Every 7 actions deals 1 damage. You're a little... Piece of shit. If you don't mind me saying. Alright, definitely gonna do that. Might have to go for a parry here. So every time you inflict weakness, grant one courage. And I grant weakness every three actions. So that was my third action. That does that. Gives me the courage. Okay. And every time I draw, I get more courage as well. So that should go off quite often. All right. Uh, draw one. No, I'm going to use this. So I don't want to draw. I think I'll do, do that. And I will do that. Get some wins. His five shield is um painful. Very nice. Okay, going well so far. We have a random slot here though, which is concerning. I'll just keep stacking on the bleed. We'll draw a card this time. I'll save that. And I, I suppose that leaves you there. Let's go. Nice. That's unfortunate. Okay, you're there, you'll remove one cramp when you're done, so I don't mind sprinting. Uh, grab myself some shield and deal some blood loss. There we go. Hmm. I feel like that's going okay, but I'm worried about these numbers here going up and up and up. So he's just going to randomly damage to me, but also every three turns, gains empowerment. Then again, my cards kill his buffs, so maybe that's not such a bad thing. Cleanse. Draw cards till your hand is full. Okay, more bleeding. Do that. I'd rather get rid of this, really, but I think I need to focus on doing some damage and building up this bleed. I think if I get the chance, I might um, duplicate this Ring of Endless Rivers. Because I think bleed could become my... Uh, most powerful weapon, really. Okay, you remove one cramp. Good job. Let's 
going to end up pretty well, I think. Depending on what this random one becomes. Okay, parry, I'll take it. Doki. Reduce all enemy buffs. There we go. Reduce all debuffs to self. I don't really have any. I'll use both of these anyway. Hmm. Yeah, let's do that, I think. I just feel like this is a very slow grinding combat, this one. Not doing huge amounts of damage, but also not taking huge amounts of damage yet. I was hoping that this uh, courage would actually get the chance to stack up and build up, but it seems to be being used as soon as it comes in. You know what, I'm going to put that there. Remove one cramp, yes please. Oh, I wish I could swap. I'd rather that go before that, but anyway. Papers and a scissor and a random. You go there. Give me some bleed. Hmm. I'll just settle for that. Hmm. Get those buffs out before we potentially lose combat. Or will it go after the combat? We'll see. I don't guess before, that's nice. Oh, I know why this is taking so long, because he heals 5% every turn. That combined with his shield just makes him a massive pain in the butt. Need to sprint here. I do reduce enemy buffs. Maybe that's a good one to get rid of the cramp on. Oh, actually, maybe I should focus on doing damage. Because I'm not doing much. Was he on 79? Heal, heal. He, he took 8. Nine bleed damage and then healed eight. Still come out ahead, I suppose. Uh, you go there. Do that bleeding move. What have we got here? Remove a cramp, yes, please. Draw till your hand is full. Very nice, actually. Get to the point where there's a lot going on, I can't keep uh, track of what I actually have and when it goes off. Hmm. That's alright. Uh, once this is up first, get your bleed going. Check the rock there, so this could be anything, but that's a good outcome for me. And hopefully it's really good. That's not bad. Harry is always better than a loss. I 
Okie dokie. Uh, you go there. Bleeding. I'll tell you what I will do is I'm going to sprint now because this guy is going to deal with that crap for me straight away. Okay, we're slowly getting there. 12 bleed, 13 bleed. That's definitely outweighing his healing now. Slowly but surely. Alright, draw. Perfect. And do I want two parries or a loss and a win? Go to the parries. Still got the benefits, I guess. Okie dokie, what have we got here? Get you in there, get you in there, get you in there. Uh, well, let's draw cards. Okay, that's good. Still still not full health, which is lovely. Okay. I think what I will do is I will put this first. I'm going to sprint. That cramp will disappear immediately. Good. Oh, look at this bleed. 18. Hopefully this is the end of it. Yeah, there's no way his block and healing will stop that. Yep. Bam. Get punched. Barbarian strike. Deal 8 damage at cramp in your deck. No, thank you. Deal damage equal to your shield times 2. I don't think I have enough shield to benefit that. Inflict two bleed, that's always good. Every time you grant courage, inflict one weakness. Ah, okay, and that ties back to this. Because then every time I inflict weakness, I grant a courage. What the? Is that like a loop? <laughs> every time you grant courage, inflict weakness. Every time you inflict weakness, grant courage. Okay, who knew that? A ring of the master shadow would synergize with a foot ring of the master beacon. <laughs> okay. Uh, every time you play parchment, deal one damage. That's interesting. Every time, two times you play blades, grant one courage. Every time you inflict weakness, grant one courage. What is going on with these synergies? Uh, I would like that. I would like that, but I think these... No, I'm going to grab that, and I'm going to grab that. And... I think it's only fair to give bleed to... you. Beautiful. Okay, well of wishes. Oh, we can duplicate one of these. <laughs> we'll be ridiculous with our courage and weakness. Is 
that the way to go? Every time we draw, grant one. Every time we grant one, inflict one. Every time we inflict one, grant one. <sighs> Alright, go for more healing. And go for more bleeding. I think that was my original plan, wasn't it? Duplicate the bleed. Yeah, I don't mind that. Well. Corrupted King Frog, who is not a crab. Just by the way. <laughs> That's a pretty cool design, actually. The corruption tentacles coming out of him. So, just as a reminder, Rager. Every 15% of missing HP grants 1 Empower. Every three turns, the corruption lashes out, removes all buff on self, becomes shelled after two turns. Every two actions grants one courage. Every two actions grants one repost. Deals X damage the next time an enemy loses, then reduce this status by one. So that can just build up and build up and build up. And then he'll have a really powerful win. Every six actions inflicts one stun. Next turn, create X grant. Oh, don't do that to me. Ooh. That's a nasty combination. Not as nasty as this roll I've got here. Uh, are you going to draw cards? You are. May as well get some bleed happening. That's going to be pointless. I may as well do that. Hmm. Wish me luck, everybody. I'm just keeping an eye on my courage here and his weakness. Why is the bleed up so high? Are these bouncing off each other? There's no way I should have been up to 11 already. His little weakness, I've got six courage. Which is lovely. Gonna pop you there. Gonna pop you there. I'll save this fella. Flurry of blows. And remove one cramp. I'm gonna invoke that right now. I have taken damage. Um, hopefully I can heal a bit quicker. Uh, I'm taking a lot of damage. Is it courage, weakness, courage, weakness, courage, weakness? <laughs> weakness, weakness. I'm doing damage to him, but he's doing a lot of damage to me. What is that? Oh, that's the corruption. What can I do about that? Nothing. That'll at least fill my hand and do some bleed damage. Uh, how is he doing so much damage to me? Hmm, I'm not sure. Yeah, I think that these two artifacts are bouncing off each other. That bleed just went up by a lot. I have a lot of courage. He has just the one weakness. Hmm. 
mean, the bleed is just chopping him up. Uh, excuse you. Okay. Oh, that's his thing here. And next turn, create cramp. I'll sprint. He'll remove that. That's fine. Courage, weakness, courage, weakness, courage. <laughs> oh boy, it's crazy. I like that. You don't see that often in roguelike where these things can all stack and, you know, create little loops like that. Usually you're limited to, you know, one of each item type and it's a little bit harder to achieve that kind of thing. And, you know, to this point, it's not overpowered. I'm not breaking the game or anything, but it's just nice that it works. Quite satisfying. Ooh. It's just done too much damage to me, I think. I, I don't know if I'm going to pull this off. Uh, draw hand. Cards to your hand is full. Can I pull this one off this turn? Get some bleed happening. Uh, get some shield happening. There we go. Let's see how we go. Yeah, see, that's doing damage to me. See that? Oh, is that the repost? Oh no, because I didn't lose. So why is it doing damage to me? Uh... Yeah, I don't quite understand what I was missing there. I was doing pretty well. You have lost. Crest sharp one. Holy cow, that was an hour. Dear lord. Uh, okay. Good little snapshot of the journey there. With these crazy artifacts over here. Hmm. Artifacts activated. 391. <laughs> Longest artifact chain. 24. Okay, so it is by design. That is cool. I like that. I really appreciate that. Uh, I'm only missing something there. These are the places I've visited. Anyway, let's end that journey. Thank you for playing. Had a good time? Add Handmancers to your wish list. You'd help a lot. Let us know what you think. Join our community on Discord. And I'm going to uh, extend that offer to you, viewers. I'll have the link for this one in the description. If you want to check it out, the demo is available on Steam. You can check it on your wish list. It is uh, coming soon. There's no set release date yet, but. Uh, Obviously, a lot of care and uh, effort has gone into this game. It is quite fun. It looks great. And looks like there'll be a lot of replayability for this one. So, definitely recommend you check it out if you like your roguelites or your deck builders. And I will leave it there. So, thank you very much for watching. If you like this and want to see more like it, please consider subscribing. It helps me out a lot and will keep you in the loop when new videos drop. I cover indie games and I cover VR games. So, if you have any game suggestions, let me know in the comments down below. Thank you again for watching and I will see you next time.